the legacy of Moniram Dewan, a Sam Stee pioneer and freedom fighter. Hello everyone and welcome to our story about a remarkable man from Assam, Moniram Borbandar Borwa, who came to be known in history as Moniram Dewan. Our story begins in the early 19th century, a time of great change and turmoil in Assam. Moniram was born in 1806 in the beautiful land of Assam. He grew up witnessing the horrors of the Burmese invasion and how the Assamese people suffered because of that. In 1826, the British took control of Assam, marking the beginning of a new era. Initially, Moniram did not oppose the British. In fact, in 1828, the Britishers appointed him as Sheristadar or the revenue bookkeeper in Jorhat. He worked hard and brought many improvements to the revenue department. Later, when King Purandor Hingho was reinstated in Upper Assam, Moniram joined his service as the Divan or Chief Minister. But for reasons unknown, he left his position and joined the Assam Tea Company in 1839, which was owned by the British. However, by 1844, he decided to start his own tea garden in Jorhat. But things weren't easy for Moniram. He was upset that he couldn't get tax exemptions like the British tea growers. Then in 1851, Captain Holroyd became the chief officer of Sipsaga district and took away the revenue benefits that Moniram's family had enjoyed for generations. This was a turning point for Moniram. He realized that under British rule, he would never regain his lost status and wealth. Moniram believed that only by restoring the Ahom monarchy could things improve. He supported the idea of placing Kandapeshwar Hingha, the son of the late Ahom prince Kameshwar Hingha, on the throne. In 1853, when Chief Justice Mufad Mills came to Assam to investigate the situation, Moniram presented two applications to him. In one application, Moniram detailed his services to the British and asked for a suitable reward. In the other, he requested that Kandapeshwar Hingha be reinstated as king and described the suffering of the Assamese aristocrats under British rule. Though he acknowledged some benefits of British rule, like the end of severe punishments, he also highlighted many negative aspects. Unfortunately, Mills did not sympathize with Moniram. Instead, he labeled him as conspirator. This report shattered Moniram's hopes and he turned completely against the British. In early 1857, Moniram went to Calcutta to appeal for Kandapeshwar Hingha's restoration, but he never got the chance to meet the Lieutenant Governor. Around this time, he learned about the revolt of Indian soldiers in northern India and saw an opportunity. Moniram Dewan dreamt of overthrowing British rule in Assam with the help of Indian soldiers stationed there. He sent secret letters from Calcutta to Kandapeshwar Hingha and other trusted people, advising them to contact the soldiers in Dibrugar and Golaghat to start a revolt. But faith was not on his side. Some of these letters were intercepted by Captain Holroyd and Maniram was arrested in Calcutta. His supporters, including Pioli Borwa and Kandapeshwar Hingha, were also arrested. Moniram and Pioli Borwa were taken to Jorhat jail. On February 26, 1858, Moniram Dewan and Pioli Borwa were hanged. They became martyrs, remembered for their courage and sacrifice. Moniram Dewan's legacy lives on, inspiring many to fight for justice and freedom. Conclusion and so the story of Moniram Dewan teaches us about bravery, resilience and the importance of standing up for what is right even in the face of great adversity. Thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed the story and learned something valuable from the life of Moniram Dewan. Until next time, goodbye.